Hi all, Ted here in beautiful Cote St. Luke, Canada. I am about to start playing the Heaven stage of Weapons Throwing RPG 2. So this stage was not available when I first started playing the game some months ago and when I made some other videos, but it's now become available. I don't know how exactly. I just opened the app one day, sort of randomly, and saw that the Heaven stage was there. I didn't update it, but maybe it updated itself. Anyway, so this is the beginning of what's going to be a bit of a progress video highlighting a few different uh, spots as I play through this stage, which I expect to be the final stage of the game, although with this game you never know. Sometimes they trick you. So I'm going to be playing the maid character. I don't remember why, it's just what I left the thing on. I'm going to be playing with these equipments. So you see I have a whole raft of the special weapons. Again, I don't remember why. I don't remember if these things go together well. Uh, it's just the way I had left things. Uh, I've got the Dark Lord's robe for armor. As usual, I've got some uh, things to increase the experience that I get from battles. Barrier pendant to protect against magic. So let's just give it a try and see how it goes. Yeah, I think this is going to be really easy. But that's no surprise because I was fighting away for some time on the previous stage. Partly just in an effort to collect all the special weapons, which are somewhat difficult to get in this game. More difficult, I have found, than in the first weapons throwing RPG. But I did eventually get all the special weapons. I'm barely trying to be clever about how I'm defending myself or anything here. Okay, so there's that. Maybe I'll make another video every time I progress to a new land within this uh, screen. Something like that. Okay, we're ready to move on to the second land within this screen. I'll just give you a quick update what's been happening. I changed my equipment slightly. Not much. I didn't need the barrier pendant. <clears throat> because there was no magic being cast at me in that first land. As I was playing, I also got a number of new Otomos, including this level 8 healing dragon and a couple other new things. I always go with the healer. So, here we go. Land 2. Ah, now I need my barrier pendant back, maybe. Because I'm getting magicked.
Well, that wasn't too hard. <clears throat> I don't always succeed when I'm playing the fourth and most difficult level of this first land. The first three I always win. And we're moving on to the third land. I've changed my equipment yet again. I got rid of any dagger or arrow. I've got four swords going. I really like these Vanaheimers because they can multiply and uh, do more damage and block high, medium, and low trajectories. And I've got one axe. I've also switched to the thievery ring, which is a bit interesting. So it gives you uh, HP, depending on the damage you do. And I find that useful. Without a dagger or arrow, I can't necessarily block low trajectory shots at myself, but eh, they don't do that much damage. I don't think anything terribly interesting happened in the second land. Like, I didn't get any great equipment or atomos. There's some magic users attacking me, but I still didn't use the barrier pendant. And we're ready to conquer the next land, land four. In conquering land three, I found out that there are special weapons at the ends of these uh, stages as well. So I got Hammer of Fenrir at the end of uh, land three. And at the end of land one, I got Arrow of Phoenix. I went back to land one because I didn't realize it until I got Hammer of Fenrir. Uh, I've been spending a while fighting on land two, trying to figure out what its weapon is, but I haven't found out yet. Anyway, we're going to fight on land four, just showing you what my equipment is. And I might fight on land five as well, because I've been going up levels for a while, and I suspect I can beat a couple in a row here. I like this arrow, like I like all arrows, because sometimes they make a lot of stuff fly all over the screen.
like it when there's a big burst of weapons like that. So that was the fourth land, and let's go ahead and try to beat the fifth land as well. Well, that boss I barely beat, but I'll take it. Okay, and we're ready to beat Lion 6 now. Again, a quick equipment update. I'm now using Sword of Gram as my main sword. Sword of Gram is the special weapon at the end of Land uh, 4. Land 4. Land 5 is a Divine Orb, which is a magic thing. And I'm still using the Hammer of Fenrir, which is from 3. At the end of 2, it turns out to be Speed Ring for increasing weapon speed. But I don't find that very useful because it's worse than the uh, Pirate's Hat. Okay, here we go, Land 6. And a lot of magic on this level. I did try uh, a land or two ago using some magic. I think I was using wind. And it helps in blocking enemy magic and reducing or reducing the damage that enemy magic does. But it uses so much BP. I don't know. And it uses a fixed percentage of your BP. Like even the wind, which is the weakest, uses, I think, a quarter of your BP every time you shoot it. So you can't even improve that by getting more BP. Because it still always uses a quarter. I kind of like the addition of magic conceptually in this game compared to first weapons throwing RPG. But I don't find it that practical, really. Ooh, that's big. I'm 
guessing that triangular thing I'm seeing is the special weapon. But we'll find out later. I'm not equipped for getting special stuff. Right now I'm equipped in fighting mode, but when I'm trying to get the special weapons, what I do is I replace either my armor and these two things with harpy feathers and keep the XP and training pendant to gain levels, or I replace everything with harpy feathers, and I switched from gold dragon to the lucky rabbit, and those things together give me the most additional luck, the most chance of getting um, special weapons. Okay, and we're just about ready to beat land 7 here, but first I wanted to make an interesting point about equipment. So until recently I had been using a configuration <clears throat> pretty similar to this, except for that instead of the barrier, barrier pendant I was using the Aegis Shield down here for extra defense. Barrier dependent, pendant gives you defense against magic. And in particular I want to focus on the Dark Lord's Robe here. Now for a long time I've been using the best armor available to me, which has been the Dark Lord's Robe. The Dark Lord Robe gives you 20... 240 extra defense, and it gives you a 10% increase of HP and BP, which is certainly good. And if we go over to the character here, you can see, here's my defense. My baseline defense is 871, and there's the extra 240 due to the Dark Lord's robe. But what I realized is that the Aegis Shield, which gives you a 40% increase on defense, okay, is now much better than that. That gives me 349 extra defense. It doesn't change your HP and BP, but uh, I have found that this configuration is better than the other one. So in other words, I'm not using proper armor anymore. I'm instead using the Aegis Shield uh, and these things for XP and Holy Gauntlet for damage and Barrier Pendant for magic protection. And that was particularly useful in this land six, where there's lots of dragons and they're shooting lots of magic at you. Uh, and it was with that configuration that I was able to beat level four of land six, uh, which I was otherwise, uh, you know, having more trouble with. So anyway, this is what I'm using now. And I, I thought that was interesting because it was not intuitive to me that you could have better defense by taking off your armor. All right, so here we go, and we'll see what we can do about land seven. You can see that uh, even when these weapons hit me, I can just let them hit me for a bit. You know, the da damage is relatively mild. And of course, if I'm shooting at them, a lot of the weapons are blocked. So I don't take too much damage with this configuration. The Sword of Graham, by the way, that I'm using now, it has two special powers. One of them is Drain, which means that a certain percentage of the uh, damage you do to the opponent is added to your HP. And the other is that it makes a triple sword sometimes. So the triple sword is like the sword of Vanaheimer, but the magic drain is like the sword Zothique. So I like that combination. I do have to be a little bit careful with this configuration not to overspend my BP, because it can go down rather rapidly. So sometimes I just slow myself down a little bit, and, uh, and then I don't get into trouble. In particular, when I was beating level 4 of uh, land 6, fighting that big final dragon, I found that slowing things down just a little bit and shooting at such a time as to block the weapons he was throwing at me 
uh, was more effective than just rushing through all the weapons as fast as I could. I did not, by the way, get any special weapon yet from Land 6. See here, I've run pretty low on BP, although my health is not in serious danger yet. There we go. And here we're moving on to land eight. I'll give you another equipment update. I've traded the hammer of Fenrir for the hammer of Mjolnir, which is a, an older hammer from earlier levels, but it does more damage and it gets ready faster. The prep speed is faster, I think it is. Anyway, uh, I, no, or maybe it's the, the BP cost is less. I think a little more attack and a little less BP it has one less durability, durability as well, but anyway, I like this hammer a little better. And I'm doing something interesting over here. I've got two sets of feather shoes on so I can th throw weapons really fast. They'll prepare quickly. Uh, and of course, normally when you're doing that, the problem is you run out of BP. But I've got the BP Thievery Ring on, which gives me 15% of dealt damage back as BP. And the monsters at these higher levels have enough HP so that that actually pays off. Uh, I'll show you how that works. So here we go on land 8. And you see, I'm shooting these weapons, my BP is going down, but pretty much every time they hit, I'm getting almost all of that BP back immediately, so I can keep up this cycle of fast throwing of weapons. And because I'm throwing so many weapons, of course, I, I do a lot of damage to the opponents, but it also creates this effective barrier that their weapons can't get through to me. So I barely take any damage myself. It seems to be working pretty well. Entertainment. Ooh, I like that green axe. I want to get one of those. Wow. Okay, that worked really badly. Okay, so the first time I was playing Land 8, I got demolished by the final enemy. Uh, and I figured I wasn't really ready to be beating that level, so I played it again just to diagnose what was the difficulty, what were the tough weapons or so on that I was having thrown at me, and uh, I also changed my equipment a bit. And this is the second time, and it looks like suddenly I'm going to win. So I'm, uh, I paused, but we're rejoining the action uh, most of the way through the land eight and most of the way through defeating the final boss which I of this land anyway which I think I'm about to do there we go 
go. I don't know why I lost so badly the first time, and then this time it was not nearly so bad. Ooh, final story. Hmm. <laughs> All right, clearing the main story. So that's the end of the game, I guess. Cool. <laughs> well, I certainly look forward to the sequel. Well, there we go, guys. That's the end of Weapons Touring RPG 2.